in this video i will show you the operation of diode or gate if i have an or gate with two inputs a and b if at least one of the inputs is at logic 1 our output will be at logic 1 see this is the truth table of diode or gate in case of this or gate when the input a is at logic 0 and when the input b is at logic 0 our output y will be at logic 0 when a is at logic 0 and b is at logic 1 see we have at least one here therefore our output will be at logic 1 when a will be at logic 1 and b will be at logic 0 see we have at least one at the input so our output will be at logic 1 for a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 our output will be at logic 1 now i will talk about the operation of diode or gate as I am using diode therefore for logic 1 I will apply 5 volt and for 0 I will apply 0 volt 0 volt that means our that terminal will be directly connected to ground and when I am talking about 5 volt I will apply a 5 volt DC voltage between that terminal to ground how do we classify logic 1 and logic 0 in case of our diode logic see if we have a silicon diode here this diode will conduct if I apply a voltage greater than the built-in potential of this voltage. Therefore, if the input voltage is greater than 0.7 volt, we will treat that logic as logic 1. If it is less than 0.7 volt, we will treat that as logic 0. Now let me describe the operation of our diode or gate. This is the circuit structure of diode or gate see we have used two diodes d1 and d2 the end terminal of diode d1 and d2 are connected to a common point and we are taking the output voltage across our load resistor rl which is connected which is connected between the common point to this ground terminal and we are applying the inputs at the p side of the diode d1 and d2 now let me talk about the first case when a will be at logic 0 and b will be at logic 0 that means our voltage v1 will be equal to 0 and the voltage v2 will be equal to 0 a is at logic 0 and b is at logic 0 that means this terminal will be connected to ground and this terminal will be connected to ground if i connect a and b terminals with ground terminal you will see in this circuit there will be no voltage source therefore our output will be equal to zero now let me talk about our second case a will be at logic zero and b will be at logic one b terminal is at logic one therefore i will apply five volt between this terminal and ground as a is at logic zero therefore i will connect this a terminal with the ground terminal as this terminal is directly grounded therefore the diode d1 will not conduct as the diode d1 will not conduct that means i can replace the diode d1 with an open circuit now let me do that and in case of this v2 and you will see that the positive terminal of this v2 is connected with the p side of the diode d2 and the negative terminal is connected with the inside of the diode d2 that means this diode d2 will be in forward bias or will drive into forward bias by this v2 or this b terminal to ground terminal voltage as the diode d2 is in forward bias i can replace the diode d2 with a short circuit now let me do that so if i replace the diode d2 with a short circuit our new circuit will look like this and you will see that i am applying this 5 volt across this terminal and this terminal and i am taking the output across the same points therefore our output voltage will be equal to 5 volt as the output voltage is at 5 volt our output will be at logic 1 okay see here our output is at logic 1 now let me talk about our third case 1 0 a terminal will be at logic 1 and b terminal will be at logic 0 that means this v1 will be at 5 volt and this v2 will be at 0 volt as this v2 
is at zero volt that means this v2 will be directly grounded and you will see that as i am not supplying any voltage across this terminal and this terminal of the diode d2 that means the diode d2 will not conduct when a diode does not conduct any current that means we can assume that the diode acts as an open circuit for the current flow that means i can replace the diode d2 with an open circuit that means i can remove the entire branch that is containing the diode d2 in this circuit now let me do that okay v1 is at 5 volt the positive terminal of this v1 is connected with the p side of the diode d1 and the negative terminal is connected with the n side of the diode d1 and you will see that the 5 volt will drive the diode d1 in forward bias if I assume this diode D1 is an ideal diode, I can replace the diode D1 with a short circuit. Now let me do that. See here, I have replaced the diode D1 with a short circuit. And you will see that I am applying this 5 volt DC voltage across this terminal and this terminal. And I am taking the output across same terminals. Therefore, our output voltage will be equal to 5 volt or at logic. 1. Now let me talk about the last case A and B. Both terminal will be at logic 1. That means our V1 will be 5 volt and V2 will also be equal to 5 volt. And you will see positive terminal of this 5 volt is connected with the P side of the diode D2 and the negative terminal is connected with the N side. And the positive terminal of this 5 volt is connected with the P side of the diode D1 and the negative terminal is connected with the N side of the diode D1. That means both D1 and D2 will be in forward bias. As the D1 and D2 in forward bias, I can replace both of this diode with a short circuit. Now let me do that. Okay, you will see as I have replaced the diode D1 and D2, both of this diode with short circuit. Therefore, you will see that I am applying the voltage 5 volt between this terminal and this terminal. And you will see that our output voltage will be equal to 5 volt or at logic 1 if both of the inputs are at logic 1. Therefore, I can conclude that the circuit I have shown you will act as an OR logic gate okay that's it thank you